Well, got the call. We're selling corn today. Drum roll, please. Well, we're at it. I don't know for how long though, because the uh, tractor keeps throwing me an engine air filter restriction code. And those typically are not very fun to get rid of. So we'll see how long it lasts before I have to get out and dump the filter again. And close the gate on the cart. And then throttle back. Turn the PTO off. I signal the truck driver. And he's gonna take off. So are we. So yeah, this is what I'm talking about. It's that little light's blinking, and then this is showing, and it's not going away. <laughs> so that's fun. If you were, if you were wondering how much crop we have left, we've got like 1,100, maybe acres of corn, and it's all down here in one spot in the river bottom. Like it's all right there. That it's over there. That's it. We farm like 2,000 acres right here in like the bottom, which is the like three miles long and two miles wide. Uh, no, it's bigger than that. But but anyways, we farm quite a bit of ground down here and there's only, there's like 8,000 acres of uh, ground here in the bottom and it's all farmed by four people. This is the last uh, pass here for this field. It's not even a full uh, 30 feet of corn. It's only taking about seven rows and it going like six miles an hour because uh this corn's really dry and it's not yielding very well especially for down here in the river bottom just because we had a lot of stand issues and water and whatnot this year you may notice dad has a uh, ratchet strap there on his ladder and the reason for that would be because he almost got the combine stuck and it pushed the ladder into the tire and it was rubbing, so we had to modify it just a little bit to make everything uh, fit. If I wake up tomorrow morning and I have 10,000 subscribers, I will drive down here and what's something outrageous I can do? Oh, I'll drive this tractor into the bay. If I wake up tomorrow and I have 10,000 subscribers. Luckily, I'm pretty sure that's not gonna happen, but if it does, you can be certain that I am actually not gonna do that. Darn kids, always playing on their phones. Just got word that uh, dad bought another farm, so that's pretty cool. Uh, might be able to go take a tour of that sometime this week in a different video. But uh, it's like 193 acres total, but only 154 of it is tillable right now. But we're gonna change that. We have a John Deere 1050K dozer. We can make about anything into tillable ground. But we about got all the end roads off this 140 acre field. And for Northeast Missouri, that's a pretty good sized little patch. I know guys up north or in Illinois or wherever God's country have like 500 acre fields, but not us poor Missouri farmers. Of course I say that as we just bought another farm and running an S790 with a folding corn head. You said there's 28 acres in just the end rows? Uh, yes, 120 foot around the whole thing, yep, 28 acres. Nice. I don't know if you can see it on the video, but there's raindrops on the windshield and on the hood. And it's not going to take very much for us to have to quit now since it was already not really dry to begin with. This is the only con that I can think of to having row shutoffs is that sometimes you do not know what planter pass you're on.
want to get over another two rows because I can see two more rows on this other side. Over there, still with the truck. Yeah, you know, harvest is a lot more fun in September when it's warm than in November when it's really rainy and nasty and cold and wet. This is it. It's getting too wet. Unfortunately, I have to get out in the rain and tarp the auger wagon once Dad finishes dumping this load of corn. And Rob is unrolling the tarp on the uh, semi here so we can get this load of corn dumped and get it on its way to the grain leg here as soon as we can. What a nice guy. Dad tarped the auger wagon for me. Before we get out of this tractor for the night, you gotta grab the radio, gotta grab the iPad. You cannot forget that or else nothing's gonna work right to make a pit stop here in town at the tire place because we gotta pick up this beauty here. The uh, fix that I had them do earlier today didn't hold, so I had to spend money to get a new tube put in it. Well, until today, I had never been in the town of uh, Clarence, Missouri. Granted, it's not much of a town. It's like 813 people. Oh, <laughs> big time right there. But I bought a set of front weights for my 730 John Deere, and I'm supposed to meet the guy here at this... Uh, Casey's here on, I don't know, the, like the little outer road that's in the town. We have a spectator, Mr. Kitty. Whoa, cat on the dumpster. Why he dare? Uh, Dad's rolling his eyes at me because I decided to video cleaning the Salford. But he wants me to start this tractor up and unfold the rest of the wings so we can grease those blades. And he wants me to clean up my trash here that's been here since June. I figure I might do that for the guy. I hope that this isn't going to be as big of a disaster as I think it is. First part of this video was from Monday and now it is Saturday morning and we've gotten quite a bit of rain since then, a couple inches, but uh, it's extremely tacky outside we're down here in the river bottom where it doesn't exactly dry out super fast so we're probably going to be fighting some mud this video so stay tuned for that it is extremely slimy outside as my tires will uh, prove and yeah this is a lot of fun and by a lot of fun i mean not very much fun now, another thing that's a pain about having uh, very long fields is that sometimes the math doesn't work out very well when you're uh, one unload on the go. Just doesn't do like it should. I'd almost rather have a field that's a quarter of a mile long and be able to unload on the go all the time and have the combine running the whole time than have a field like this with uh, three quarters of a mile long rows and the combine only runs 90% of the time. I go to college at Mizzou, so what do I know? This is what happens in a wet year to low-lying areas in a field. They get drowned out, and there's nothing except for weeds. Yeah, the bottom is a really pretty place this time of year. Ignore the uh, mud. I think probably my favorite thing about farming is the views that you get. You don't get these kind of views sitting in an office at a 9 to 5 job. You know why? Because you're already home at 5 o'clock. But unloading trucks here is kind of interesting when you can't get into the field. So you just pull up alongside the road and hope that they're pulled up square so you don't have to do that much work. Dad's got quite a pile of corn there in the hopper. I don't know if he's gonna make it all the way to the end. He chickened out, he's not gonna do it. But maybe he is. But I'm gonna make fun of him if he does get cab corn. He did make it in fact, and 
I think it would be very, very, very easy for him to end up with uh, corn in the extra storage that's on top of the cab. Like he's turning around very, very slowly. Update, he ended up with some corn on the cab because, and on the back of the uh, machine on the engine compartment because he hit a uh, little dip. Oh, oh man, look at this. Dad got cab corn. <laughs> What'd you say? Come on, was I not going to make fun of you? Hey, you do it for me. Uh, how much do I have on the roof? Uh, it's a pretty good little pile. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you might want to get out and check it out here real quick. I told Dad that he needs to check out his cap corn, so we're going to record his reaction real quick. Now it says it's not his fault because the combine needs a bigger hopper. Like it's already got a 475 bushel hopper, so it, it's it's not his fault. Uh, the disappointment. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> hmm. I wonder what just happened. <laughs> It's a nice view though. Okay, now the cab corn debacle is over and I'm gonna check my tire pressure and we're gonna get back to work. We got a little under 20 acres left in this field and it's 7.34 right now and I think that we can get done before nine o'clock. Dad's Midland walkie talkie died and that's inconvenient, extremely inconvenient. Getting all used to having these things, it's actually really handy to have a walkie talkie just holler if you need something. There goes the trucker, and probably some moron who has no reason to be down here. So, we did in fact finish this farm before 9 o'clock. It's actually 8.44, and I just loaded the last truck, but we still got like 3,000 pounds on the cart, and it wasn't going to fit on the truck. So, now we're going to go home, and, well, first Dad's going to put some fuel on this uh, tractor here, because, yeah, we're at like a quarter tank, so we're not going to chance it. But anyways, uh, that's gonna be the end of the video for now.